This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today, yeah, I bought this guy. I told myself I really didn't need it and then I saw one review and two review and three review and finally saw Patriot Prime's review and that kind of just sealed the deal and I, 10 seconds afterwards uh, I ordered it. He was sold out on my sponsor DJC Collectibles unfortunately because I waited too long so I got him on Amazon at full price and it got here in two days so you know I'm gonna take a look at the box here because with my current setup it might be a little too big so uh, looking good, honestly, the artwork is pretty good. Um, the face sculpt, I don't know, I, on the figure it kind of looks a little weird, but you know, we're, uh, we're gonna go with it. And uh, you have the standard legacy stuff, which uh, we've seen see since wave one. And product shot, and the QR code if you want to see the stats of Beast or Megatron. So that's pretty much it. And I was actually never a big fan of the Dragon Mode uh, back in Beast Wars. I like the original purple, uh, yeah, even the Transmetal, uh, the first Transmetal wasn't, uh, you know, my favorite uh, alt mode for uh, Megatron. But um, this figure, uh, the, the quality, uh, the, the accuracy, uh, more of the robot than the, uh, the Dragon, uh, I think it's just fantastic I've played with it a little bit and yeah um, he's uh, the joints for the legs uh, they're the same as the uh, Beast War Megatron uh, the original from Kingdom uh, but they're a lot smoother so I like that improvement on that uh, mechanism and definitely the colors um, on the it's mostly just you know colored plastic but looks really good and the wings are you know amazing um, so I'll do a couple comparison. Uh, I'll have to adjust my uh, my setting uh, because uh, most of the the bots I'm gonna compare them with also have wings. So we'll see how it happens. But before I take a look at this guy, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles. And at the end of the video, you'll still get your 10% discount code. And now let's roll the intro. Fool! Optimus gained his power from Prime Spark. Imagine what I will gain when I mingle my Spark with his. Okay, so uh, the box is in there, and notice my background is uh, just my white screen because um, it's gonna take a lot of room to do uh, some of these things. Um, first, the accessory blast effect looks really good. You can use it as a sword. Um, I know people are, you know, doing a, uh, a hail 3D printed, stuff like that. Um, I kind of like it just like that um, because maybe that's just a Dungeons and Dragons reference, but a, a flame blade uh, doesn't have a hilt. It's a magic spell and it's just basically you're holding a flame. So I think that's uh, a good uh, involuntary nod to it, I, I would say. So, uh, no, I, I like this, uh, and it's really nicely done, like the translucent plastic, it looks like fire, or, or to an extent, maybe some, you know, very hot lava, translucent lava, for some reason, looks really good, great job on that one. Uh, the instructions are, actually, I thought there was going to be a, a whole lot of more. Uh, steps for this for, for this transformation, but it's uh, fairly simple, but it's huge. I mean they they made big pictures so that it's easy to spot everything and uh, It's worth it And it's standard Asbro stuff that we've come to love and Now for the figure itself the paint details on that colored plastic are amazing starting with the toes looks really good um, I don't recall if uh, there was a transformation in the feet uh, on the show 
Uh, this fits though, it you know, fits really well. Uh, the uh, knee pads, uh, the horns, uh, you'll notice they're different. Uh, not too sure why, maybe it's a transformation thing, but I, I don't think so. Uh, I transformed them a couple times and I don't, you know, you, you just separate the legs and so I don't know why this was made different. Or maybe it's my copy. Maybe I'm, I got a defective one. Let, uh, actually, let's just look at the product shot. No, I just took a look, and yep, that's the uh, that's the way it's uh, it's done. So maybe I'm missing something. Uh, I don't know, or maybe it's gonna be you know a port for when you combine all of these translucent weapons that they've been giving us with Legacy. I doubt that. Uh, the spark chamber looks really good, a uh, little exposed, but uh, I love how the the the, the front paw claws. If you can say it like that, uh, go and they don't, you know, I transformed it a couple of times and I'm not able to get it back perfectly. Like you see, there's a, a little gap here. Uh, so it's just, you know, fiddling with it. Maybe I'll get it back, but it's not too bad. Uh, you see a little bit of the hollow part here uh, from the, uh, cause the uh, front paws are inside this cage here, so. Uh, but the cage itself looks really good and love the color, love the paint. Uh, look at the details on the shoulders. It's all scaly. Uh, the paint on the forearms looks really good. Uh, you have that sticking out peg here that's going to go there for transformation. Uh, shoulder pad on this one is bigger because that's part of the neck of the dragon. And uh, well, let's talk about this for a moment. The head sculpt is really good for the hand. Uh, the, the dragon mount, it moves. You have the port for the blast effect. And uh, the articulation, uh, everything's on a ball joint. And you have to be careful, but you can rotate each and every piece of those. Um, well, yeah, you have to be very careful and you have to force it a little bit for the other parts but you can get some good posability with this and the paint on it is really well done uh, you know you have the uh, the hollowness for the the ports for the mushroom pegs and everything so that's a little sad but it's not that bad and the pauldron looks really good it's hard plastic and there's no fake rubber skin like beast war megatron this is all hard plastic so to me that's a bonus because i feel like the rubber plastic is going to either dry out or um, you know, it bends if you mistransform it and you, you don't notice, so it's kind of bad. And from the back, well, that's that's ugly, I have to say. The tail uh, plugging from the head reminds me of, uh, uh, what was the guy's name, Kit Fisto in uh, Star Wars? Or is it Plo Koon? No, it's, it's probably Kit Fisto, uh, Twi'lek, you know, yeah, so... It just looks a little weird. And the back piece here, that's going to be the belly of the dragon. Uh, it looks better on the dragon. The wings are nicely painted. And there's a good wigs wingspan to it. Um, I'll show you in comparison. So, looks really good. I'm impressed with this figure. Articulations are, well, the head rotates, doesn't go up and down because of the big tail uh, at the back. Uh, you have, if you get the wings out of the way, you get your Ferris wheel. Uh, there's a rotation under the shoulder. You have a more than 90 band of elbow because of transformation. The hand will rotate. No, it won't. It's gonna go up and down because of the transformation. So, ah, that's too bad. Uh, articulation on the head I've shown yeah uh, there's no or is there wow I'm impressed with that I didn't expect it nice ratchety waist rotation you can merry go run all you want and then you well ah oh man because of the wings can you hold on 
Can you angle the wings? Well, not really. You can't... Hold on. It looks kind of goofy, but you can't really get a good Johnny Cage on, on this one. It's... Well, I guess it works from this angle. Eh, just, it's not... Because of the wings, he doesn't do the uh, the Johnny Cage very well. Uh, you do have a rotation under the tie. And... Uh, well, you have your kick back. Nice ratchet. Kick forward. You have a way more than 90 row, uh, band at the knee. You have, because of, rotate, of transformation, you have a, a shin bend. I guess call it that. And then you have an ankle uh, rocker. Oh, both ways. So you can do some nice poses with that. And then you have the very... I'm not moving it backwards. I think it can go backwards, but I'm not going to try it. But you can go forward uh, for uh, because of transformation. But to... Uh, nah, it doesn't go backward. Don't try this at home, kids. Or elders. I don't know what's the age group of people who watches my review. All right, so I'm gonna extend the wing because I do like to display my winged figure in their full glory. There you go. That's really something. Let me pull back the camera and we're gonna do some size comparison. Now let's compare Transmetal 2 Dragon Megatron with my original Transmetal 2 Optimal Optimus. And this is, I'm only missing uh, one missile, one panel, and unfortunately, the piece here that screws and connect to the body is missing. So, can't really transform him properly, but on a display, he looks fine. Jinbao Cryo Scourge. And Kingdom Beast War Megatron with the golden disc from Therizor. And I think the scaling is pretty good. I think Dragon Megatron is maybe a bit taller because of the head sculpt and, you know, that, you know, cover here. And um, one accessory that I wish they would have included was the hairpiece when he was, uh, you know, putting uh, some, I think it was Waspinator or maybe it was Quick Strike. Yeah, it was Quick Strike on trial for helping uh, Tarantulas uh, get rid of Megatron uh, in the lava. And uh, he had that, you know, court wig. And uh, that would have been a cute, nice uh, accessory. Oh, and also the rubber ducky. I am not so easily destroyed. And thanks to your treachery, my power is greater than ever. Thank me. Thank you. All right, and now let's take this guy and try to transform him. So what you want to do is lift the arm uh, so that you have the, uh, the dragon head facing this way. And we're done. And he's very impressive. Honestly, I don't think I could have asked for a better representation of Beast War Megatron. Well, Dra Dragon Megatron. Definitely worth getting. Transformation is good. All the details on the face, the eyes. Ah, sorry, there's a couple screws, but all the ridges on the horns, all the molded details on the neck at the bottom here, looking really good. The wings, love the color. I mean, you know, red prominent here with the yellow, orange, like flame wings. Looks really good. Uh, the chest. Covers, you know, the whole, you know, uh, body of uh, the robot mode. Uh, really good. Uh, it's a very nice cover. It's 
still have that little, I don't know, spark chamber access. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But, uh, the, the hands are looking really good too. Uh, mobility on it is fantastic. You know, the instructions spend like seven steps on just how to place the arms and it's actually quite simple. So maybe uh, overused there. Uh, the wing movement, really good. I don't think it's as good as let's say Air Razor because uh, the stop motion animation with Air Razor that I saw on Lazy Eyebrow was really good. So I don't think you could replicate that with, um, with this figure, uh, but it's still very impressive. Uh, the neck, you know, moves, uh, rotates. Each piece is on a ball joint, so you can do crazy pose. You can breathe on his back if you want. <laughs> I am absolutely speechless. This is fantastic. The legs, very tight joint here. I have to say that I've, I'm very careful when I move this because I, I don't want to snap a foot out because, you know, this is this would be irreparable. You'd have to get a new figure because it's used for both the beast, the, 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 the beast mode and the robot mode. So I'd be ashamed to break. Uh, like the details on the legs. This is kind of weird, the three spikes here. Not too sure what what that's exactly for, but you know, still looks good. The paint here, uh, it's amazing. I like the gold paint on this piece here. Really good. I wish they would have matched this, because this looks, I hope it's not gold plastic. Like it doesn't feel like gold plastic. Same thing here on the under the neck. I mean, it looks, but it doesn't feel like the gold plastic of of, uh, of your <laughs> the olden days. So hopefully, it won't be a problem. I don't remember if the, the he had a claw like that in the show, but still looks uh, looks really good. Megatron does not yield. He conquers. And the articulation in the tail, I mean, you could do some cool stop motion, you know, a dragon flying and just with everything moving around. That'd be nice. Painted details of the claws. I prefer paint, gold paint than, you know, gold plastic, that's for sure. And even the details here, like, you know, the talon on the wing it moves. And then this whole purple section looks really, really good. And the blast effect, it's cool because it's kind of a unique blast effect in the sense that it's a, a reverse. You know, it's not the blast effect pegging over a port. It's the blast effect going inside a, a port. So, and you can put it any way you want, and it looks fantastic. The only da downside, and that's because I'm a D&D &D player, uh, because the head sculpt actually looks like a D&D &D dragon with the horns in the back like that. But uh, dragons are actually, uh, you know, they usually walk on f four legs, and these little T-Rex arms are too small. You can't have a good pose with this guy, you know, on four legs. So, but that's just because I'm a nerd. All right, let's do some uh, size comparison. Why well, actually not size, just comparison with, you know, other impressive figures. I'll be right back. <laughs> Here is Beast War Transmetal 2 Megatron with the Nika Gargoyles Goliath. And uh, one of my biggest regrets is that uh, I can't find uh, the rest of the Gargoyles locally. The Dungeons and Dragons Dicling Red Dragon, uh, who transforms into a D20. 
So yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. And that's what I meant with uh, Dragon Megatron having the uh, the you know accurate ridge or uh, horn. Sorry, uh, it's uh, that's what I meant. These one here matches these one here. Not so much the big one in the back, but you know. Kudos for Hasbro. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but uh, I like the fact that uh, Hasbro uh, matched the D&D uh, &D look. And once again with the KO Jinbao, which I think is a KO of the perfect effect Cryo Scourge. Uh, this is their Freeze Devil. And I had gotten the blue one instead of the red one because I like the wings better. Uh, silver tip with the clear, uh, clear blue uh, looks really good. Uh, this is a more mechanical dragon looking. I mean, it, it, there's no uh, presumption of flesh on this guy. It's just really uh, a robot dragon. So I dig the look at that uh, figure a whole lot. And it had been a while since I transformed him and it wasn't easy. So here we go. Final look at Beast Wars Megatron uh, Transmittal 2 from Legacy, and I'll put him back in uh, robot mode and do my final thoughts. Did you think you could stand against the fury of both Megatrons? <laughs> Farewell, Optimal Optimus. It seems I have again been cheated of victory. So let's end this with my French word of the day. I know I forgot to, to do it every other uh, review, but I'm going to go with magnifique, which means magnificent, because this is a magnificent figure. I love the paint. I love the articulation. I like the transformation, which was way more simpler than I thought. I love what they did with the hand here to do the uh, rib cage. Um, you know, it's, it's really ingenious. Uh, the wings are fantastic on this guy. Looks really good. The accessory is really nice. One of the best accessory I've looked. I'm not a big guy on blast effects, but this one looks really nice. Uh, the head sculpt of the dragon is absolutely fantastic. This is a near perfect figure. I'm not going to say it's better than Tarantulas, but it's up there. So there you go guys, that's my review of Transmetal 2 Beast War Dragon Megatron. Fantastic figure, if you see it, buy it, it's worth it. I hope you've enjoyed this review, if you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those. Keep coming back, I have more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!